If you own a Samsung Galaxy device, you'll be excited to hear that Samsung has started rolling out the One UI 7 update to a variety of devices. The update is now hitting flagship phones, foldables, and tablets, with even some Galaxy S series phones getting in on the action. So what's new with One UI 7? Based on Android 15, this update brings a fresh new interface. The quick settings and notification panel have both been redesigned for a modern feel. The icons now look more dynamic and colorful, and everything is streamlined for a more unified appearance. One of the most notable changes is the Now Bar, which is available across the entire Galaxy lineup. However, the placement of the lock screen differs depending on the device. For example, on non-premium devices, the in-screen fingerprint area is centered, whereas on premium devices, the alignment changes a bit. One UI 7 also introduces new features and UI enhancements, but it does depend on your device's hardware. While Samsung has tried to include as many features as possible, not all devices will get the same experience. So which devices are getting the update? Here's the list of what's available so far. Galaxy S series, Galaxy S24 series, Galaxy S23 series, Galaxy S22 series, Galaxy S21 series, Galaxy S24 FE, 23 FE, and S21 FE, Galaxy Z series, Galaxy Z Flip 6 and Fold 6, Galaxy Z Flip 5 and Fold 5, Galaxy Z Flip 4 and Fold 4, Galaxy Z Flip 3 and Fold 3, Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition, Galaxy Tab S series, Galaxy Tab S 10 Plus and Ultra, Galaxy Tab S 9, Plus and Ultra, Galaxy Tab S8 Plus and Ultra, Galaxy A Series, Galaxy A55, Galaxy A35. The update is rolling out gradually, so depending on where you are or which carrier you have, you might not get it just yet. But don't worry, you can always check for it manually by going to Settings Greater Than Software Update Greater Than Download and Install. Have you received the One UI 7 update yet? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you won't miss out on more updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. One UI 7 update is causing major issues. Battery drain, overheating, and now the dreaded green line. After the rollout of One UI 7, Samsung users, a Galaxy S23 user recently shared images on Samsung's official forums stating, I've been using my S23 for about a year and a half without any drops, damage, or water exposure. But shortly after installing the One UI 7 update, green lines suddenly appeared on the screen. It's clear this isn't due to physical damage. It seems directly related to the update. The user contacted Samsung customer support the request for a free screen replacement was denied because the device is out of warranty. They appealed to the community for guidance on how to escalate the issue and seek a resolution. More green line complaints from S23 Plus users. A Galaxy S23 Plus user shared a similar experience, saying that green lines appeared out of nowhere just after updating. When they visited the service center immediately, they were told that the S23 series isn't currently eligible for a free screen replacement unlike the S22 lineup. And even worse, the replacement parts weren't available in stock. Black screen issue on Galaxy S24 Ultra. Another user with the Galaxy S24 Ultra reported that after updating to One UI 7, they encountered a black screen bug while using Instagram. According to the post, whenever I try to switch stories or swipe down to exit, the screen suddenly goes black. It only fixes if I manually exit the app, I even tried a factory reset, but the issue still persists. Another S21 Fan Edition user posted on Reddit, mentioning extra green lines after updating to One UI 7.0. A Galaxy S21 FE user added their frustration on Reddit saying, I haven't even received One UI 7 yet. This is the second time I've gotten a green line on this device. Last year, Samsung replaced the display after heated discussions, charging me only a service fee. Now the replacement screen is facing the same issue again. At this point, I'm done with upper mid-range or flagship Samsung phones. I'll stick to the budget segment moving forward. The green line issue, once considered a hardware fault, now appears to be resurfacing or worsening after the One UI 7 update, pointing towards a software-triggered hardware failure, possibly related to display drivers or thermal management bugs. 
Combined with battery drain and overheating complaints, it's clear that One UI 7 may not have been fully optimized for existing hardware, especially in older devices. Samsung has yet to officially acknowledge the issue for the S23 series, unlike their previous handling of the S22's green line situation. Until then, users are advised to document their cases thoroughly, contact Samsung support persistently, and pressure local service centers for clarity on replacement policies. If enough users raise the issue, Samsung might be compelled to respond with a repair program. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section.